Likes to take his foot off the gas, and when he does so, he'll be there, forcing the pace of the fight. He's prepared, and he says that when he gets through three or four rounds, then we'll see just what Khan has to offer. Khan, though, has prepared long and hard himself. He says he's bulked up on muscle power. His lateral movement, he says, has improved. He's worked on keeping that left glove higher so that he's not vulnerable to the right hand, which Willie Lindman clipped him with in his last fight. Oh, but he's caught there. Khan trying to unload in the opening minute, but he shipped to right hand as he did so. Takes it, though. He can't afford to leap in, can't afford to take chances in these opening seconds. And, well, has he, they've forgotten to put the gun shield in. It looks that way, John, that his gun shield either came dislodged or it wasn't in in the beginning. Well, away we go again. If that gun shield wasn't in in the first place, then that's a bit of a lapse of concentration from the Khan corner. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it just fell out in one of those early exchanges. Scott Lawton, slightly the taller man, stands about five foot ten and a half. Khan, though, with the benefit of hand speed, but Lawton claims to have been on the weight. That is, he's at the nine stone nine limit. He claims to have been there for more than a week whereas Khan, by his own admission, has found it difficult to get down to that championship limit. Well, Khan making his customary fast start, left hand held a lot higher than we're used to, which will prove that one or two lessons have been learned from his first and his last encounter. And his own manager, Frank Warren, sitting alongside Frank Bruno in a rather splendid pink suit on the far side of the ring there. Frank Warren said, oh, good shot from Khan, good left hand. Lawton takes it well, really rocked back the challenger's head. And a big right hand as well. Good accuracy, good hand speed from Khan, and then back out of harm's way, avoiding any possible counter. A hesitant start by Lawton, just allowing Khan free reign to unload with both hands. What I was going to say before Khan unloaded there was that his own manager, Frank Warren, had said at times he'd been amateurish in that last fight, that it was a learning curve and that you shouldn't expect instantly for this lad to move on to world title honours. Lawton's a good professional in his 25th professional fight. He's only lost three of them. Good right hand. And he's got a decent chin, Lawton, we know that. But he may well be that he has to have it. That shirt he was wearing had a number one on the back. Does that mean that he's the number one from Stoke City? Or is he going to be the goalkeeper taking a flurry of punches from Amir Khan? But Lawton needs to find a way to get himself into this round. Interesting opening three minutes. I thought Amir Khan had a pretty Second good opening down. round. round He'll be happy with the way things have gone so far. Yeah, a very apprehensive start from Lawton, allowing Khan much too much free reign. But ha Khan's hand speed has always been very impressive. Khan looking to tee off, good left hand, but Lawton takes it well and works off the ropes and lands a solid right hand. Lawton gets his first moments of success and a slight trace of a smile across the face of the man from Stoke-on-Trent. Worked off that ropes and landed a solid right hand. And here comes Khan again. That blurring hand speed, which has been his signature since he turned professional, and indeed through those amateur days that saw him to the Olympic final in Athens in 2004. Khan boxing with a lot of aggression. Fancies the right hand. Lawton not a one-punch knockout artist, we have to say that. Four wins of his 20 have come inside the distance. He tends to wear people down through his strength and his fitness rather than take people out with single shots. Khan, of course, is maybe the opposite. Ten wins inside the distance in his 13 victories. And here he comes again, trying to plant his feet to get maximum purchase. He said in one of his press conferences this week that he likes to get into a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight because that's what the fans like. He doesn't want to just box people's head off, but whether that's a wise policy or not, I'm not so sure. But he's dominating this fight so far. And Khan working head and body quite well. Jabbing to the head, hooking to the body, forcing Lawton onto the back foot where he's just least effective. Lawton took a solid right uppercut as he came inside and tried to work in close. 
Lawton's best win, arguably, against Peter McDonough, the man who beat Michael Gomez not so long back. Outpointed him and back in 2005. And as I said earlier, he was going well against John Thaxton, the British champion who defended his title last night and who's been calling out Amir Khan. He was going well before being stopped in the seventh round back in March. Norton needs to keep his chin down because Khan's aiming for it with the right hand every time. Khan throws the left hand to the body, the jab to the body, the right hand over the head. Khan's been improving his body strength in the gym at the Bolton Wanderers ground. He's employed a full-time nutritionist nowadays to help in what he admits are greater weight-making difficulties as he grows in frame. Clipped by a solid left hand as he gets inside, but now Khan wants to unload again. Good left hand, terrific shot, and Lawton momentarily, his leg stiffened, but he's holding on and showing his experience in buying precious seconds. That was Khan's best shot of the fight so far. Left hand from Amir Khan, caught, caught, caught Lawton in the closing seconds, seconds of that round, oh, really three. rocking his head back. And Lawton knew all about that late pressure. I've given the first two rounds quite clearly to Khan. Lawton looking a little bit shell-shocked for me. Hasn't quite got his punches working. And is a little bit unsure of what to do with Amir Khan. Khan looking relaxed. A lot of the tension that he showed against Willie Limond is not in evidence tonight. This is a more complete performance. And Lawton just clips him with a little right-hand counter as he came in close. But Khan walking through that and trying to unload bombs to the body. Well, Khan's dominance uh, thus far, John, has been totally superior. 12-round fight, though, remember. Lawton is a strong man. His conditioning is exceptional. Khan landing a solid left hook into the body. Lawton looking a little bit hesitant though, he's allowing Khan to dictate. He's allowing Khan to be the, the aggressor, and has he got the skill, has he got the hand speed to clip Khan with a counterpunch in the manner that Willie Lemon did? Good jab though from Lawton there. Oh, Lovely body, body shot. shot, Lovely body shot, well placed by Khan. Really thundered that one home, Duke. Those are the shots which I know you admire, those energy sapping body shots trying to drag down the high-held guard of Scott Lawton. I just wonder when the fight back is going to begin from Lawton. He knew it was going to be a tough fight. He knows so more now, but he's got this enormous following who've come across the Midlands from Stoke, and they are waiting to roar their approval at the first hint that there might be a chink in the armour of Amir Khan. Well, the experience obviously lies with Lawton, but Khan's just not allowing him to get his punches on. He's beating him to the punch in every quarter, inside, outside. And good footwork tonight as well. Well, he's silencing Lawton's supporters just by applying the pressure. Excellent flurry of punches once more from Khan, who, having dictated the pace of things in the first two rounds, is doing the same in the third. Good left hand and following up, head switching, attack from head to body, beautifully. Lawton needs to just release his hands, it's as simple as that. He's got to start getting his hands to work to get his confidence into this fight, where he can start producing some good form. Khan, incidentally, has now got a top ten ranking with the WBC. Maybe that's a bit premature in some people's eyes, because he hasn't beaten anybody yet of that sort of stature. But certainly he is unquestionably an emerging talent. Can Lawton, though, find something just to stem the tide here, which has been inevitably and unanswerably in the direction so far of Amir Khan? Words of advice in that corner, Duke, to Amir Khan, suggesting that they're now thinking they could be in for a long fight. Let's tire him out. Let's go to work because we're going to need our advantage in stamina and in strength in those, in those closing rounds, if it goes as far as that. They're prepared to go for the long haul. Well, with a young, fit guy like Khan, you can't afford to be three rounds down. It's as simple as that. Lord needs to try and turn the tide and find a way to do it right now. Needs a big round.
does this very likeable fella from Stoke. Oh, good left hand, his legs have gone again, and Khan senses that he could end it. It might end here and now. Can he take him out? And the referee has said it's all over. Victor Lachlan signals the end. I don't think Scott Lawton liked it, but that left hand stiffened Lawton's legs, and that was impressive from Amir Khan. Looks of satisfaction and happiness on the far side of the ring from Khan's family, now congratulated by one of his trainers, Dean Powell. And there's Ricky Hatton, who's made his way over to see for himself just how this young prodigy is getting on. Graham Earl, who may be the next challenger for this title, is sitting at ringside. But Amir Khan, for me, there's Graham Earl. I wonder what he makes of it. He might be the man to challenge Khan in Bolton come December the 8th. But Amir Khan, for me, didn't really do too much wrong tonight. Did absolutely nothing wrong. Timely intervention by the referee. Totally unanswered punches from Lawton. Referee's job is to protect the boxer at all times. And that's precisely what he did. The show goes on. The show goes on indeed. The Lawton fans who came in the thousands have been silenced largely. The man did his best, but he wasn't in Amir Khan's class, and he knows now just what a talented fighter Amir Khan is. He said that in a couple of years he'll be out of sight, but he thought that he still had a chance.